I know things have been really crazy this year and we're all looking forward to things getting back to normal. Sorry, I have to do this quickly. 2020 started with bushfires raging across the eastern states of Australia and then came the global pandemic. No one could have ever imagined how much it would impact everyone around the world. But it has. We've adapted. we survived. You know what? As a community, we've actually grown closer together, even though we've had to stay apart. We know that returning to school will really be hard. Like you, we've been out of the classroom for nine weeks and getting up and out to go to school on cold mornings won't be easy. But with a little effort and preparation, we can all make this work. It's going to mean we're going to have to go from looking like this when we go to class, now looking like this. It's time to set your alarm. And make sure you eat a good breakfast. We need to make sure we get to school on time. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye, Daffy. Dad, put your phone away. Now, remember your phones. We've all been on them a lot during remote learning, but now it's time to put them away. They go in your locker before form assembly and stay there until the end of the day. We understand that not everyone will be happy to be back and that for some of you, you'll be a little apprehensive about being back at school. But that's okay. If we all look out for each other to make sure we all stay safe. How do you stay safe, I hear you ask? Easy. Just make sure you're respectful and responsible with the people that you're around. You make sure you keep a safe distance from each other at least 1.5 metres in the corridors, yard and classroom. Make sure you wash your hands with warm water and soap regularly. Make sure you use the hand sanitizer located in each classroom. Well, if you do need to sneeze guys, make sure that you do it into a tissue, alright? We don't want germs getting around. And if you don't have a tissue nearby, the crook of your elbow, elbow will, <laughs> will also work. Hey, Mr. Powell, you want a hug? To assist with airflow, we need to keep the windows open. So dress warm, because winter is cold. And using resources that need to be shared, like a football, or a chisel, make sure you use hand sanitizer before and after use. Notice the cleaners are around more often, making sure that all the high touch areas are nice and clean throughout the day. And just remember 
If you're feeling unwell, have a dry cough, sore throat or fever, you need to stay at home and look after yourselves and protect others. We're so pleased with the way that you've been well, demonstrating. Can you show me how to do a backflip on the trampoline? Look, I'll show you how to do a backflip in a moment. Okay. So we're, we're so pleased with the can way... Can I get some games on my computer? You can play games on the computer in just a moment. So we're so pleased with the way you've been demonstrating... Respect, responsibility. And resilience over the last term. But if you're feeling overwhelmed, just speak to your form teacher or a year level leader or a member of the wellbeing team and they'll do what they can to support you. Don't forget, we also have our doctor and nurse on site Thursday afternoons. You can make an appointment with them if you are after some confidential advice or support. Every student in the state and the country has had the year interrupted and now they have the opportunity to bounce back. So now we're going to ask you to keep showing us the amazing work you can do. Be respectful of different people's mindsets as they return to on-site learning. Be responsible, do all your work to the best of your ability. And show resilience, keep trying when things get tough and don't be afraid to reach out for assistance. Above all, stay safe and take care of each other. So what